Okay, so in this lecture we are going to see that concept of plotting of signals. Okay, so plotting of signals. So in this again we have two subtopics out of which first one is called operations on dependent variable operations on dependent variable so in this so first we will see what is called amplitude scaling we will see what is called amplitude scaling so for example let us say I have a signal called x of t we say y of t as amplitude scaled version of x of t if we can write y of t as a times x of t. So here we see if a lies between 0 and 1 then we say that y of t is attenuated version of x of t. Attenuated version of x of t. Similarly, if a is greater than 1, then we say that y of t is amplified version of x of t. So, just to make this concept clear, let us take a small example. So, if I take x of t to be the following signal, let us say it is a rectangle signal from minus 1 to plus 1 and the corresponding amplitude let us take to be 1. Now, if I want to plot y of t equal to 2 times x of t, so the plot of which will look something like this. So, note that the time limits will remain same because we are doing operations on dependent variable. So, no name of this flow will be 2 into x of t. Similarly, if you want to plot 1 by 2 x of t, so amplitude will look something like this. So, amplitude of this flow is half and the name of this guy is 1 by 2 into x of t. So, as a last example, if I want to plot minus x of t, how does the plot? look. So, minus x of t will look something like this. So, you will get this plot by rotating the signal x of t along x axis by 180 degrees. So, if you rotate this flow along x axis by 180 degrees, you will get minus x of t. So, this is about amplitude scaling. So, next we move on to what is called addition of two signals. So, addition of two signals. we define the addition of two signals x1 of t and x2 of t as y of t equal to x1 of t plus x2 of t and this process of addition we do for all time t. So, that is mentioned. So, we will directly jump into the example. So, for example, if I have x of t to be like this. So, let us say it is a rectangle signal from say minus 2 to plus 2 and the amplitude is 1. So, let me call this fellow as x1 of t and similarly, let me take another signal x2 of t also as a rectangle, but this fellow exists only from let us say minus 1 to plus 1 with amplitude let us say it is half. Now, I want to add or I want to plot the addition of these two signals. So, let us try to see that so, look at this signal x1 of t from minus 2 to minus 1, the amplitude of signal is 1. So, for x2 of t, let us, this is x2 of t. So, and for x2 of t, the amplitude of signal from minus 2 to minus 1 is 0. So, minus 2 to minus 1, this fellow is 1, minus 2 to minus 1, this fellow is 0. So, 1 plus 0 is 1. So, from minus 2 to minus 1, this amplitude is 
1. Next, so from minus 1 to plus 1, this fellow's amplitude is half and from minus 1 to plus 1, this, amplitude, this fellow's amplitude is 1. So, obviously, what does that mean? So, total amplitude from minus 1 to plus 1 is 1 plus 1 by 2, that is nothing but 3 by 2. So, again from 1 to 2, this fellow is 0, again from 1 to 2, this fellow is 1. So, 1 plus 0 is 1. So, overall addition of these two signals will look something like this. So, I from minus 1 to plus 1, the amplitude is 1 and sorry, minus 1 to plus 1, amplitude, my amplitude is 3 by 2 and minus 2 to minus 1 and 1 to 2 amplitude is 1. So, name of this guy is x1 of t plus x2 of t. So, just to make still the concept clear, we will take one more example. So, for example, if you want to add the two signals given by, let us say, a triangle, rectangle, a triangle from minus 1 to plus 1, with amplitude 1 and another guy is a rectangle from again let us say minus 1 to plus 1. So, let me call this guy as x1 of t and let me call this guy as x2 of t. So, let this fellow exist from minus 1 to plus 1. So, if you want to add these two signals, how does the plot look? Again, so, just before minus 1, this is 0, just before minus 1, x2 of t also is 0. So, if I add these two signals, the overall addition starts at minus 1. So, at minus 1, what happens? Amplitude of this signal is minus 1, and amplitude of signal at x2 of t at minus 1 has a discontinuity. So, obviously, 0 plus discontinuity again will result in a discontinuity. So, how does that look? So, suddenly there will be a jump of 1. So, amount of discontinuity is 1. So, see the signal suddenly jumps to 1 later. So, from minus 1 to plus 1, this fellow is 1. Again, minus 1 to plus 1, this fellow is a triangle. So, obviously, a rectangle plus triangle will look something like this. So, beyond 1 again it is 0. So, obviously, amplitude will be 1 and this amplitude is 2. So, this is minus 1 and this is plus 1. Again, this fellow's name is x1 of t plus x2 of t.